The SnowRunner Phase 4 update is now on the public test server. So here's a look at what to expect and some new Russian map gameplay. Hello and welcome to A Tribe Called Cars. My name is Ben Griffin and this video is all about SnowRunner Phase 4. I'm going to be showing the first new map in Russia, Urshka or Urska River, as well as four new trucks and what else is new? Now this is the first Phase 4 version on the public test server, aka PTS, which means some stuff will be unfinished or not yet named properly. Case in point, the Khan Scout is unpainted like the KRS-58 Bandit was for a while in Phase 2. So that means some mild spoilers, but I won't go too heavily into specifics, and I won't show much of the second, third or fourth maps either, known as Cosmodrome, Northern Aegis Installation, and Cherno Kamench Sean Connery. As usual, the PTS update is available only to SnowRunner on PC, so we'll have to wait somewhere around four to six weeks for the official release date. Maybe longer if things go wrong, and they might, as there are four maps this time, although things do seem to be pretty in order. Yes, Phase 4 has four Amandra-sized maps in the Amor Oblast region of Russia. Apparently you pronounce the Amor bit like the word for love in French. And to be honest, if you love snow, these maps will do you proud. Initially, the fourth map, Cherno Komenshk, was unavailable in the first Phase 4 PTS build, but now it's available and appears to be only accessible through the Cosmodrome map. Although this could be temporary, as the path between maps has already changed once. What is it more like? Uh, reminiscent of Alaska and the Mandra, as in snowy, muddy and icy. It seems like icy roads are more prominent than they are in a Mandra, so chain tires might be useful as opposed to mud or off-road only. It also seems as if scouts will have their use for certain routes, as some are especially narrow, and that you will want to be wary of thin ice like in Lake Kov. It seems easier to get stuck than before, so take it steady. Now we all know thick snow was hell in Amandra. In Urshka River you have to contend with bogs, steep banks, and steep ascents and descents. Basically progress is slow, but more rewarding although there are still some needlessly tedious snow roads. Where's that plow? Mission variety seems decent too. You get to launch the spaceship, repair bridges, do something with a diesel locomotive, and other interesting jobs. It seems less repetitive than the Canada and Wisconsin maps, although it's early days. I've also noticed new trials challenges, one of which involves the mighty 2Z420 Tartarin, with new hood ornament rewards, including a mammoth for those who complete them. Plus, there's a logging add-on for certain trucks, which means you can lug logs around without needing the log trailer, as is the case for the Caterpillar 745C. Not only that, the SnowRunner hard mode discovered in the files a while ago, something I've already made a video about, can be seen in the main menu. To use it requires starting a new game, unless you're on PC and want to modify the files. Hard mode charges you to refuel, recover, and generally makes getting stuck and other costs more expensive. So it's not quite the safe plus I know many of you who have completed SnowRunner want, however it does add longevity. Another potentially nifty feature that I swear is new, maybe I'm wrong and going senile, is that you can now manually switch on or off the engine of the truck you are towing, like in MudRunner. In limited testing it doesn't seem to do much, but perhaps that could change in PTS updates. Even better, you can have bottles in the cabin for what appears to be the claim you need to have vodka to be a successful truck driver. As for the new trucks, we have the Khan 317 Sentinel, which is basically a UAZ Patriot pickup. It has tuned custom suspension for maximum ride height, beefy mud tires, 80 litre fuel capacity, and all wheel drive and diff lock. It's quite a fun scout, but like all smaller trucks, it dislikes thick snow and mud. Next is the International HX520. 280 litres of fuel, all-wheel drive and diff lock, off-road tyres at best, and various add-ons. Nothing monumental, but does the job. I'm loving the dated interior wood trim and strong horn game. Now we come to the Caterpillar CT681, 260 litres of fuel, much more versatile than previous CAT trucks, all-wheel drive and diff lock. You have the option to drop its second row of wheels like the Western Star 49X, and also strong horn game. Meanwhile, adding to the GMC family is the Brigadier 8000, 285 litres of fuel, all-wheel drive and diff lock capable, rugged looks, 
versatile add-on selection, lots of torque, off-road tyres, and last is the new Zix 605R, which is found out in the wild of Cosmodrome. I have a guide coming up for that. Eight wheels, cute round headlights, all-wheel drive and diff lock, large 380 litre fuel capacity, more dials than a jet fighter. It reminds me of the Azov 73210 minus the rear steering and versatility. I like it a lot. So what do I think of Phase 4? Well, the new maps are more technical than what we've seen before, but marred in places by the issue of deep snow, big rocks, and the inability to clear either. I also dislike the random fallen trees. What is the point if they just get your truck stuck randomly? Tedious, if you ask me. With all that said, when Amandra came out, mod trucks were not an option. So getting the garage took many of us a lot of hours, myself included, and many tears. Now you could, in theory, jump into a modified Tega 6436 or the Azov Iceberg and laugh at Mother Nature. Of course, you won't get any achievements, but it's nice to see that these tougher maps are fun to explore and challenging, even for the most ridiculously overpowered trucks but still largely doable with these stock offerings. So yeah, I'll be making lots of Phase 4 videos as it's been enjoyable so far, but definitely not an easy ride. Anyway, be sure to subscribe, it really helps me out. I shall see you in the next video, but not before I leave you with the mystery of the Clifftop Tractor. Why is it there? Answers on a postcard. Take care, bye.